Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Jonas Bengigo is one of the most exciting riders to come out of 2021 so far. The young Dane has proven he can mix it with the best climbers in the world as well as put in a strong showing for his Jombo Visma leaders. Jonas Bengigo's Jombo Visma career started back in 2019 after being part of the Danish continental side called Quick since 2016 and Mingo's Jombo Visma move happened indirectly after he took a very famous KOM in Spain, the Coy de Reis, which is a 143 kilometer long climb that many pros use to test their form. Jonas Mingo had success in his World Tour Neo Pro season and the first success came in the Tour of Poland. Jonas Bingegor here surprisingly for most people showed his immense talent by winning the sixth stage of the tour which was an uphill finish and he outpunched the likes of Pavel Sibikov, Jade Hindley and Sergio Higita and on top of that he even overtook the leader's jersey in the process. However, the next day wasn't quite as successful and I will just let Jonas Bingegor explain in his own words the pressure of being a leader of a world tour stage race. In the final stage for you, uh, what kind of happened? Because you were in the leader's jersey, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in the leader's jersey, but I just think, uh, yeah, I wasn't really ready to to have a, a leader's jersey. Actually, I, uh, yeah, I, 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 I wasn't ready for for all the pressure and all the pressure I put on my own shoulders, but also from, yeah, from the team and all the media and and everything. It's just, yeah something you have to get used to in in some kind of way and, and yeah and and it was I, yeah i just basically think i i wasn't really ready for having a a leader's jersey and i think uh, yeah i just and that's something i have to practice and i think already later that season it, it already went better with a lot of pressure on my shoulders so yeah it's a uh, that's also i can feel this year i'm getting um yeah, I haven't raced this year, but but yeah, I, I can feel that that I feel more ready for for uh, having a, a leader's jersey now, because I I wouldn't I would never have uh, been thinking that I would get a leader's jersey last year. I, every time I was racing, I was mostly racing as a a, a helper, uh, and then all of a sudden I was in the leader's jersey, and that just yeah. Uh, I really didn't uh, expect that. How long did it take for you winning the stage to get to your bed that night? Get to my bed, I think. Uh, yeah, there were like one or one and a half hour drive because yeah, when I went there, it was yeah, I already been there for quite a long, so uh, I think about three three and a half hours. So yeah, first we had we had the podium ceremony, and yeah, uh, that took, yeah, for sure it feels like it doesn't doesn't take so long, but in the end it actually takes some time. And then uh, I also had doping control, and 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 there was a guy before me having a bit of trouble. So yeah, uh, and then I was waiting there for half an hour, and for me it went quite fast, and but but. Yeah, all in all, I think it was three or three and a half hours. So yeah, that must be quite tiring when you've just ridden a stage and you just want to lie down, basically. Yeah, yeah. You have to go through. Yeah, it. exactly. Yeah, but that's also what I, what I in some kind of way need to get used to, like be relaxed in in that. So kind of just, yeah, it is what it is. That's something you need to. So it's just. Uh, how do you say that? Yeah, just just get used to it. Uh, don't be irritated about. Okay, uh, this takes really a lot of time. Try to yeah maybe uh, think. Okay, this is what it is, and then maybe maybe talk with the coaches. Okay, what or, or with the sports directors about what we do tomorrow, and and yeah, getting something to eat, and so so it's not like wasted time. At, yeah, for sure, it it feels like a bit like wasted time, but but get as much out of the time as, as possible. It didn't take long for more success to come that year and that happened in the Tour of Denmark where Jonas Bingegaard was leading Jombo Visma and he managed to finish seventh on the second stage, which was a time trial. And on the Queen stage, Bingegaard narrowly missed out on the win in Violet after being boxed in in the final sprint. And on stage four, Bingegaard managed to move up 
to second place overall after being there in the final throws of the stage. Being a goal would solidify the position on the final stage and finish second overall behind countryman Niklas Larsen only 11 seconds adrift. In the 2020 season, the highlight of Vingor's year, apart from his interview with the Cycling Dane of course, was definitely his first appearance at a Grand Tour and that was in the form of the Vuelta a España and here he was part of a very strong Jumbo Visma team coming with the defending champion Primoz Roglic who was trying to seek redemption for his Tour de France loss. So Jonas Vingegaard was ultimately riding in support of the Slovenian superstar. Jonas Vingegaard's best performance came on the 12th stage up the devious Anglerou. Here Vingegaard managed to pull the strongest climbers of the race up to 3.5 kilometers from the finish and this was a performance that didn't go unnoticed and just showed how strong Jonas Vingegaard has become as a climber. The 2021 season would be Vingegaard's third season on the world tour with Jomba Visma and something special was definitely in the air. In his first race in the UAE tour, Vingegaard had not been that remarkable until the fifth stage up to the highest point in the UAE up to the Jabil Haiz and here Vingegaard attacked the main group of favorites with 1.1 kilometers from the finish and it seemed no one wanted to chase down the Dane and he managed to catch the lone leader of Alexei Lozenko and out sprinted the Kazakh to take another win on the world tour. Vingegaard's next race was the 36th edition of the Copy Bartoli stage race and here Vingegaard was leading a young Jombo Visma team and on stage two he managed to out sprint Ivan Sosa to take the win after Ineos Grandiers had done a lot of the work and this also meant that the Dane would take over the leader's jersey as he was first in the general classification. And Jonas Vingegaard even managed to win stage four into San Marino and the final stage he managed to break away with fellow Dane Mikkel Honoré who he actually won a team time trial stage in the Tour de l'Avenir with and Jonas Vingegaard managed to finish second on the stage but ultimately he sealed his first place and the overall stage race win and this was the first one of his senior career. Later on Jonas Vingegaard joined Primoz Roglic at the tour of the Basque Country and he managed to finish an impressive third on the opening time trial stage 18 seconds behind leader Primoz Roglic. And on the fourth stage, when the cycling world thought Jombo Misma had made a technical blunder by letting Brandon McNulty up the road riding for UAE Team Emirates, Vingegaard was actually marking the American and in the process managed to move himself up to third place despite Roglic losing the leader's jersey. On the final stage of the race, Primoz Roglic followed the very aggressive moves made by Astana and Movistar on the descent to get up the road and as a result, Jonas Vingegaard was on man marking duties and followed every move that the rampaging Tade Pogaccia made. And the Dane did so quite impressively as he even managed to stick on the wheel of the Slovenian superstar on the final climb. And this meant that Jonas Vingegaard would take his first ever world tour podium. And on top of that, he even would split the two Slovenian superstars who had been dominating the Tour de France podium in 2020. The other cherry on top of the cake was that Jonas Vingegaard also became the best young rider of the Tour Basque Country that year ahead of Tade Pogaccia. Looking at Jonas Vingegaard's upcoming races, the Dane heads to the Arden Classics and he also looks like he's provisionally going to Vuelta Espana, but I would dearly love to see the Danish superstar in the making going to the Giro d'Italia and see what he can do. So that's it for this video. A very exciting time for Danish cycling to say the least and Jonas Vingegaard is definitely one of the riders who will be spearheading Denmark's chances in the world tour for many years to come and what a huge talent he is. That's it for this video make sure to comment down below what you think of Jonas Vingegaard and of course if you haven't already please check out the interview I did with Jonas Vingegaard he was absolutely delightful and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and as always thank you for watching and see you next time.